गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन इट्स मी चंद्रकला हियर एंड वी वर डूइंग सेक्शन बी ऑफ आवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज मेजरमेंट्स एंड एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन एंड वी वर लर्निंग अबाउट वर्नियर स्केल एंड नव वी विल लर्न अबाउट एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट विच इज मैड अप विद द हेल्प ऑफ द वर्नियर स्केल एंड इट इज वर्नियर कैलिपर्स ऑब्वियसली वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट द मेजरमेंट्स एंड इन दैट ऑल्सो वी वर लर्निंग अबाउट द मेजरमेंट्स ऑफ लेंथ so obviously vernier caliper is also one such instrument which is used to measure the length this vernier caliper is used to measure either the external diameter of something means spare bowl anything and internal diameter as well as depth so actually our vernier caliper it is used for three purpose it is used to measure external diameter of any object and internal diameter second one and third one is the depth of any beaker or bottle for this three purpose bottle or beaker we are using vernier calipers so vernier caliper looks just as it is shown here means in vernier caliper we will be having one main scale which is calibrated in millimeters and centimeters as normally we are having so this is the main scale and on that main scale actually we are having a vernier scale this blue colored scale this is known as vernier scale this main scale is fixed and vernier scale can be slided on the main scale okay here we are having two jaws here and here also we are having two jaws two jaws downside the scale and two jaws upside the caliper so these jaws are known as outside jaws because these are used to measure the external diameter means whatever object you are having we keep that object between both these jaws and with the help of the screw we will tie that object between both these jaws and then we can measure the external diameter by the same process as we had discussed in the last class that is the total reading will be the main scale reading plus the vernier scale reading this we have already discussed in the last class so out of these two jaws and out of these two jaws one jaw is the part of the main scale then obviously it is fixed whereas this jaw is the part of the vernier scale and as we saw that the vernier scale can be slided on the main scale so this portion can be slided obviously because if you have to put any object here then you have to slide it you can slide it in the backward direction you can put the object and then bring it back and then we can tie the object between both these jaws so these both jaws are known as outside jaws because they are used to measure the external diameter whereas these are known as inside jaws and inside jaws means which is used to measure the internal diameter means the object we will keep around this means these jaws will be inside the object and these jaws here we are keeping the object means these jaws are outside the object so we will keep the object here means these jaws will be inside object will be outside then obviously the the length given will be the internal diameters so inside jaws are used to measure uh, internal diameters whereas outside jaws are used to measure external diameters process is same that is the total reading is equal to main scale reading plus the vernier scale reading for vernier scale reading we have already seen the formula that is p into list count p is the uh, division of the vernier scale which is coinciding with the main scale that division we will take and then we will multiply that by the list count and we will get vernier scale reading and main scale directly we will get from here we will add them and we will get our overall net reading here back side of it actually one strip is given it is not shown here but because it is back side back side of it a one strip is given like this steel strip is given here and this strip is used to measure the depth of a beaker or bottle or anything means when we will move this vernier scale with the help of the screw means uh, obviously we can slide it so with the help of the screw we can slide it so when we will slide it away then this portion which is actually situated back side of the scale this will come out then we will put this portion 
vertically in the beaker which whose measurement or the length we depth we want to measure inside that we will keep it and then as we will slide the vernier scale in the backward direction its length will be continuously increasing so when we will be completely going to the complete left depth of the uh, beaker then we will stop here and then how much we have slided the vernier scale so how much gap is there between vernier scale and main scale this reading will give us the depth of the beaker so this is the vernier caliper which is used for the three purpose first one external diameter which is done with the help of the outside jaws then the internal diameter which is done with the help of inside jaws and then depth of the bottle which is done by this last portion of it okay and when this zero mark as we have seen in the last class zero mark when we completely match this jaw to this jaw then the zero mark of the vernier scale should coincide with the zero mark of the main scale and in that condition this portion this strip like portion that will also be its last portion will be here means from this side we will not be able to see it because it is back side of the vernier scale and after that list count of vernier scale functions we have already seen this your main scale that is calibrated in millimeters so the least distance which it can give is one millimeter but we are having one vernier caliper also this vernier scale which is having the number of divisions one less than the main scale these all things we have covered when we learned the vernier scale so to find out the uh, reading for list count actually we had already seen the formula but still once again we can see that is list count of vernier scale we have seen now we are looking at list count of vernier caliper both are same only that is list count is value of one main scale division that is x only main scale division x divided by total number of divisions on vernier scale total divisions on vernier scale that is n vernier scale n this will give us the list count for reading we will need one main scale reading that we will directly do from here directly take it from here for vernier scale reading we will need p p into list count list count we will calculate by this formula and p means actually the uh, division which is division of the vernier scale which is coinciding with the main scale that will be the p then we will get our total reading this is how your vernier caliper is working